So we'll start exactly where we are right now, right here at FCF E Theater. That's a view of this place from about 1,800 feet in the air, a bird's eye view. You can see most of the campus grounds. We're gonna leave Malaysia first. That's Malaysia. Uh, this is provided to us by our good friends at Google Earth. That's Malaysia and all of its neighbors. Next, we're going to leave the planet. Oh, oh to do something. Uh, next, we're gonna leave the planet. But I'd like to check something at about 1,000 miles up in the air. Oh, huh. well, what do you know? It's not flat after all. Now we can leave the planet. This is as far as you can go from Google Earth. It is a view of our home from thousands of miles away. I turned off the national borders option in this picture for a reason. And that's because when you get this far away from Earth, national borders are the least of your concerns, bro. Uh, finding a source of oxygen and shielding yourself from the intense radiation of outer space is definitely a more pressing concern. Uh, from this not so distant vantage point, Gone are all the lines of demarcation that divide us, all the arguments that we have over whatever, race, resources, politics, satirical cartoons of religious figureheads who lived over 1400 years ago, they all seem to pale in comparison. Don uh, français très petit, you know, very small. And ladies and gentlemen, we have only just begun. But at this point on, I'm going to have to turn off Google Earth. We'll make a pit stop by the moon. This is the farthest that any human has ever traveled to. It is a view of our home. That distance right there is about a quarter of a million miles away. This picture was taken in 1968 by the crew of Apollo 8. Before we actually landed on the moon, we sent a mission to orbit it once. And this wonderful image right here called Earthrise was taken as the Apollo 8 spacecraft was coming out of the dark side of the moon. Sadly, I don't think they found any transformers there. <laughs> Good, you guys have some of that geek in you. It's nice to hear. Um, now, Apollo 8 was the first ever manned mission to the moon. So this image right here actually represents the first ever image of our world taken from the viewing perspective of another world, and I think that's quite impressive. I know that Twitter and Instagram did not exist in 1968, but I'm pretty sure hashtag Planet Fee would have been very popular back then. <laughs> Look at all those photo bombs. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so we'll continue our journey uh, at about, we'll start to leave the solar system, and as we get farther and farther from away from our solar system, the sun that supplies our planet with all of its warmth and light required to sustain life. It supplies Malaysia with a little bit of extra warmth and light because it's always so hot outside. As, as we get farther and farther away, the sun will become dimmer and dimmer until it becomes just another point of light indistinguishable from all the other stars that we see in the nighttime sky. We'll continue our journey at, to about like the distance that light travels in one year, at about less than one light year, is the Oort cloud, that fuzzy looking sphere right there enclosing our solar system in the center, is comprised of millions of chunks of rock and ice, and occasionally one of these chunks of rock and ice would get deflected into our solar system, lighting up on the way in, and we see them as comets. So yeah, sorry to spoil that mystery for you. Comets are in fact not made out of angel farts or angel dust or whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll continue our journey to the our local stellar neighborhood. These are the groups. I I'm telling you, you, your story was very personal. I'm taking us out of the cosmos right now. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll continue our journey to our local stellar neighborhood. These are the groups of stars that are the closest to our sun that is in the center right there. I suppose that once we do leave our solar system, these are the places that our children's 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 children will be able to explore to once we've started to leave our home system and truly become citizens of the cosmos.